Each year since 1987, the President of the United States gives the Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award to role model organizations for our country. These are organizations from manufacturing, service, small business, education, healthcare, and the nonprofit environment who represent the best in the United States. They are truly outstanding examples of strategic planning, innovation, customer focus, true examples of overall performance excellence for our country. This year, the President has added seven new organizations to our list of 84 previous recipients who were rigorously judged to serve this status for our country. This year's seven recipients are Medrat of Warrendale, Pennsylvania, a two-time Baldridge Award recipient, Nestle Purina Pet Care Company of St. Louis, Missouri, Freeze and Nichols Incorporated, Fort Worth, Texas, KNN Management, Austin, Texas, Studer Group, Gulf Breeze, Florida, Advocate Good Samaritan Hospital, Downers Grove, Illinois, and Montgomery County Public Schools, Rockville, Maryland. And what better way to learn about these organizations than through the voice of their leaders? Let's listen. It's all about continuous improvement, cycles of improvement. Being recognized in 2003 was just the start. Since 2003, by uh, embracing all of the key dimensions of Baldridge, the company's doubled in size. At the highest level, MedRad places an extreme emphasis on our customers. Over the last several years, we continue to grow our customer satisfaction um, uh, metrics and performance. And um, uh, specifically in North America, um, we are uh, certainly in the top decile. It's one of those interesting dynamics where it's translational. So the fact that scores have gone up it means also that we're obviously uh, meeting customer needs, they're satisfied with us, and it indirectly is a, is a leading indicator, obviously, to the fact that our sales growth, our market share growth uh, performance continues to grow. Besides using the uh, customer satisfaction metrics that are there, within the product development process itself, each of the individual teams have advisory boards and panels of key thought leaders that they work with uh, very closely to ensure that our current generation products are meeting their needs and then that feedback is going into the next generation um, products. If you create a great work environment, you get great people and those great people create you know, a lot of innovation that your customers you know, like and as a result you know, of that, you're, you'll continue to grow sales and therefore uh, uh, be able to grow profit. when you walked in the lobby of this building, you weren't confused about what business we were in. I believe that focus serves us well. We 
sell dog food, cat food, dog and cat treats, and cat box filler. The company was founded a long time ago in 1894 here in the state of Missouri by William H. Danforth. He was way ahead of his time, a real stickler about quality, and he wanted the purity to be part of the name, and that's how it became Purina. We like the fact that we try to continually reinvent ourselves. And yeah, we're an old company, but in terms of a lot of things we do, we're three and four years old. And I, I think that's what helps keep you fresh. Investing in how to be innovative and teaching people new ways to be innovative. No matter whether they're in the mail room or whether they're some of our top nutritional scientists. I think we do uh, a very strong job of identifying the wants and needs of both the animal as well as the owner. And I think we do a very strong job of providing both the product attributes and the consumer insights in terms of the marketing behind our brands which resonate well with the pet parents. We want the pet and pet owner relationship to be a wonderful, joyful thing. You know, pet ownership ought to be a delight. I think uh, most of the people you find here do in fact love animals and uh, I think they love the fact that they can bring them to work and that makes it a nice environment. If you were to really say where we started and what we do, it's bringing water to the state of Texas. We do lots of dams, water resources planning, large pump station pipelines, wastewater treatment. Probably one of our largest areas of infrastructure with roads, drainage, that type of work. We also have uh, environmental science support. We have an architecture group. Very large uh, construction services group to handle all our projects in the construction phase as well as program management. Starting with Major Holly, who came down from uh, Illinois to build the first water pump station for the city of Fort Worth. Did that in 1892, and then in 1894 he hung his shingle out as uh, one of the first consultants in the state. For example, the city of Fort Worth, was, we've done work with them continuously since 1894. And we have some other clients with a, a near as long a record. We just have to kind of tie in the drawings with the specs. You have to be competent. You have to have the technical skills. You got to bring to the table those skills. That's important to play the game. The difference maker is, quite frankly, the level of client service you give. And I feel like we're the best at that. Our repeat business is well over 95% of our work. And our business model is really pretty simple. We're looking for clients that when you take care of them and do a great job, the reward is they give you more work. That's the right business model for us.
barbecue is very big in Texas. And if you travel around, you'll constantly see somebody making a claim like best barbecue in Texas, world's best barbecue. And after you've seen it about 50 or 100 times, it starts really not meaning anything. So at Rudy's, we decided to say we're the worst barbecue in Texas. And we thought if you're going to make that claim, you darn sure better be good or you look like an idiot. <laughs> Rudy's or Mighty Fine, it's not the building or the, or the marketing, it's, it's the people. And Rudy's or Mighty Fine is represented by that one person that serves you that day. And that's why we, our mission statement is to guarantee that every guest is delighted because of me. We've got about 500 me's around here. I'm one of them. Every one of our me's needs to be personally accountable to every guest. We view social media as a great way to listen to our guest. It's a way to get continual, brutally honest feedback and know what people are saying about you, what our guests are saying. And we look at that on a daily basis. We take it seriously. If we see trends, uh, we go find out why and we're going to make adjustments. We normally have daily communication going on with our guests. And what's, what's really amazing to me is how interested our guests are in engaging with the brand. I wish you guys would come to Houston. We want our team members to treat them just like they would a, a guest that were to come into their home. and. They're an invited guest and we need to treat them accordingly. But I don't focus primarily on profitability or growth. Uh, I focus on are we achieving excellence? And the, the means we use to do that is delighting every guest that walks on our door. Mr. Group's a performance-based consulting company that works with primarily healthcare providers across the country to, to improve their operational performance. Our mission is to make healthcare better for patients to receive care, employees to work, and physicians to practice medicine. We don't take care of patients, so we have to make sure we can create that culture in those we serve. So let's talk about rounding on staff. Do you feel like that's happening 90% of the time? Our vision is to be the intellectual resource so people, leaders in healthcare organizations, can maximize themselves and others' performance. So we needed to create tools and techniques that wouldn't only work in a 20-bed hospital, but work in a 1,000-bed hospital. Keeping it under control for so we really work with organizations on what we call evidence-based leadership, showing leaders if they do certain things a certain way, they'll get better execution. The number one strategy that we can do as chief nursing officers is to ensure that we are rounding on every one of our patients every day. It's going to tell you your data and how you're doing compared to those goals, and then if you want to see what tactics are you doing. So what we're asking organizations to do, we think we see get the best results, is at least 10% of your patients. More or less, we're actually taking care of those that take care of the caretakers. We're trying to create a leadership culture where the caretakers and those that support caretaking gets attention. We literally had to show that the hospitals or the healthcare systems we work with, not only did they feel good about the Studer Group, but really that their patients felt better about the care they received in those hospitals. So we had to really demonstrate that our customers' customers benefited from our tools and techniques. 
Now, this is an area where I'd say you're not having some consistency. Right. Our goal is take your current process, maximizing it to the fullest point. Then you know where you can go. Then it becomes so evident you have to innovate that now innovation becomes a necessity. We're constantly looking for innovation, but we're constantly looking for what we call tweak innovation. We call it eating our own cooking. And if you're not willing to eat your own cooking, you can't do this because there's a lot more pressure on us because, again, when you teach it, you also have to do it. That's why the Baldrige journey was so important to us. You know, we had so many of our clients win the Baldrige and apply for the Baldrige, and, and we felt that we needed to also be on this journey with it. At the front door of our hospital, there is a sign, welcome all to this place of healing. We really try to live up to that promise where all of our patients will be cared for in a very healing way. look a little bit better, your color's a little bit better, okay? We're gonna get your family in just a minute, okay? Because we're in healthcare, we wanna provide literally the best clinical practices and health outcomes to our patients. And in fact, Good Samaritan Hospital has been able to achieve some of the best clinical outcomes in American healthcare. So in 2004, we launched a journey. We called that journey Moving From Good to Great. And uh, the, the underlying purpose of that journey was to become the best place for physicians to practice, associates to work, and uh, patients to receive care. And to use a Baldrige term, our core competency is building loyal relationships, both with physicians, patients, associates, and the community. When we measure our patients for their level of satisfaction, in most areas, our patients rate us above the 90th percentile. It's a great place to receive care. And in our latest physician satisfaction survey, our doctors rated us at the 97th percentile as a great place to, uh, to practice medicine. It's never been about the award, but, but maybe it's been about being award worthy. We embraced the Baldrige approach and we wrote the application and we experienced uh, the very intensive examiner site survey. We did all that because we felt it would make us a better organization. What really motivates most of us at Good Sam is how proud we are together as a team that we're able to deliver some of the, the best health outcomes in America and to do it in a very caring and compassionate way. People don't move to Montgomery County for the big buildings or the cheap taxes. They move here for the quality of education. And now everybody here believes, believes in their heart that they actually can make a difference from the bus driver to the cook to the person who sweeps the floors, to the teacher, to the paraeducator, all the way up to the central office, everybody believes there are no other kids. They're all our kids. And all of them can be college ready when they graduate. Hay la misma cosa. Have you had any experiences with that? Now we're keeping track of our kids all the way through college. Okay.
And we now know the juice is worth the squeeze because we're getting them out of college at twice the rate that America is. For 60%, almost, of our kids out of every class that graduates, and we're graduating more than 10,000 kids, very diverse group, get a bachelor's degree within six years, a bachelor's degree or an associate's arts degree. What we've done is put together a string of wins based on a continuous improvement, based on all of us feeling like we could get better. And it's changed the way we look at children, changed our expectations, changed the way that we look at outcomes, helped us look higher. Thanks for watching BCC and have a prison life. What engages children is a commitment kind of organization that is always getting better, enabling them to stretch and grow. We want to be pushing the sound forward so that it's a richer, clearer sound and so that it carries out to the audience, okay? We've actually increased market share of our total enrollment from the private schools in the last decade. And we hold on to our employees four times better than the national average. We have 25 high schools. I make 22 graduations on the average every year. And I shake their hands. I know it's more than just a graduation ceremony. It's a chain that goes all the way from birth, all the way through college and into the workplace. And we have prepared them because we have set outcomes that we want every child to hit. We'll just keep progressing. We're not gonna slow down. The people who run this system work in this system and go to this system and support this system. This is a continuous, ongoing process. The Baldridge Performance Excellence Program is about performance excellence. Since 1987, 91 organizations have received the honor of being role models for the United States. Role models in every aspect of performance. Role models in the areas of manufacturing, service, small business, education, healthcare, and nonprofit organizations. Organizations that truly deserve the recognition that they have earned. For the United States, they truly are the best of the best.